I'm gonna show you, we talked about this on our last little tour about this truck. I was gonna come back and show y'all what it looked like when it was done. We redid the seats, we did the door panels. Customer requested he wanted something what we did here and we did what we could on his design of seat, the design he had seen, but, and it really came out good. It's leather with black leather and some red stitching. But this is when I say <clears throat> you can you can just do a little bit to change your vehicles. I mean, if y'all remember the last interview we had, where I showed y'all, it was all brown and it, it looked different. Now it looks a little bit, the red makes it look a little bit sporty and new. So, I mean, it, it's something new and he can enjoy it for another year or two. I mean, this is a hand, hand stitch. It's not a company that we order skins from or anything. These guys actually sew, and have y'all seen it? Y'all seen my guys sew in there? I got three guys, and they actually do the pieces. This is one piece. This is one piece. The black areas, when you see the split, this is one piece, another piece. They sew them together. When you see this on the sewing machine, you're probably thinking, what is he? is he doing but it all comes together they put it together they foam it up they tighten it back up man and it just turns out really good i mean like all this is these are all pieces and they get put together you know you have to have that that like and knowledge to do it to make it look like this there's a lot of people that do this but to do it to make it look like this most people would say man the design of that seat is not going to work but my guys figure it out they play with it they kind of change it around and we did it the pockets are optional they had pockets already my guys asked me i said yeah let's do them in red they can pop you know they usually people don't even know they got pockets in the back of their seats but like this you can actually see them see them and they look good but we put them back in or not it's optional i'm i'm sitting back here in back of the truck and i always do this so i can kind of look around and make sure everything that we've done is up to standards where we want it. And right now I jumped in here and I'm thinking, man, I wish this truck was mine. But I mean, when we do them, we try to think they belong to us so we can do what the customer wants. And we always try to go beyond, but I'm sitting in here and I'm realizing, wow. <laughs> you know, the sweat hairline is a must. I mean, I always do that on all my cars. And it just gives you a different feel when you're in here. The headrest is customer's request. I mean, but if you have kids, it's the best thing to have. But man, I'm sitting back here and I love it. TV, speakers. I mean, this stuff this stuff was done a while back from another guy. But uh, it's the stuff that we do here as well. And it's something that if people want it, we can do it. Anybody that watches our Instagram, they really know what we do, but now we want to show it. We want to show it so they can see it. I want to thank everybody for watching us. Please do not forget to subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Facebook.